Opposition legislators have once again walked out of today's plenary sitting in protest of heavy deployment in parliament and also denying them a chance to table the video showing the alleged human rights violations by security operatives. Honorable Speaker, my side is still demanding that this House will progress well if we have that debate concluded, right, Honorable Speaker. That uh, even when you are communicating that effect, our space, our house is not safe, that we are actually surrounded. They're surrounded by the military, including um, vehicles in which some of us were dumped uh, during the Tuji Kwatako debate, and they are surrounding parliament. The lead of the opposition also wants answers why UBC TV, NTV and NBS were banned from streaming live today's plenary proceedings. The opposition insists that the Internal Affairs Minister, Major General Jim Mohes, must explain the security attack on the National Unity Platform Party offices recently in which party leaders and supporters were arrested. The video was never played. You all recollect the circumstances under which it was withdrawn. The speaker changed... Um, his motivation and therefore change the goalposts and the video was never played, meaning that there was a deliberate attempt to frustrate our response to the statement made by the Minister of Internal Affairs. Of course, as human beings, we felt a sense of frustration and betrayal. The subsequent actions of uh, the various members the suspension of our own members, five members. Despite the walkout, the House proceeded with business. As the tensions remain high, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament maintained the fort to remind the MPs of the parliamentary rules of procedure. Shamim Naiga and Gloria Gutabinji, Parliament.